In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four origami options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the option one where I have used some gradient fill. You can add the option number one here. Uh, if you have the icon, you can add the icon, the title and the detailed text. And I have added some shadow effect at the bottom. And when I click, it will show me the second option, with different color combination. Then the third option and the fourth option i have created two slides one with animation another without animation so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon and you can join my telegram group with the help of this link it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background. Then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the triangle, draw a triangle, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline. Then go to rotate. I'm going to make it flip vertical and just place it here. And then right mouse click edit points i'm going to make one point a little bit you know the upside you can see here something like this all right then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape will give some different color and go to rotate i'm going to rotate left 90 degrees and then just put it here something like this i can just increase the size also here and then just send this to back all right so it end up getting something like this let me just reduce the size a little bit you can see here and then i'm going to add one more rectangle select the rectangle draw the rectangle reduce the size from this end and increase it from here shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color and then send this to back so we end up getting a shape something like this now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add some more shapes here let me just zoom in you can see here now here i can just increase the size a little bit more also then I'm going to add one triangle here, go to insert shapes, select a triangle, draw a triangle here, you can see here. And you can see this small orange point, just drag this one here, reduce the size. You can see here, shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill, you can give some dark colors. Let me just move this aside or you can just send this to back also if it is not properly aligning you can just right mouse click edit point and then you can just bring it to this level you can see here something like this and you have to make sure that this is properly aligned so let me just zoom in and i'm just going to put it something like this all right now i'm just going to add one more uh, rectangle here or the right triangle i can use it select the right triangle we can see here again shape fill the same dark color shape outline make it no outline here so at this stage i've added here and later on we can add something more here also so let me just show you go to insert again right triangle add the right triangle here again dark color shape outline make it no outline so you end up getting a shape something like this the most important thing to do now is to fill the colors so i'm going to use some gradient colors first of all i'm going to select this right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select the gradient fill so the gradient fill i'm going to type select as a linear and i'm going to only three stops the first stop i'm going to give uh, some maybe some dark color red color or some other colors we can see here and the direction you can make it either down or up or whichever for example i'm just going to and here i'm going to select 
red maybe i'm going to select more darker red all right you can see here something like this and here also for this also i'm going to select the same i'm just going to select this you can see here now here we need to change the direction because we have just rotated the shape so you can see here i can make it more lighter you can see here so that you have to make it somewhat lighter because uh, this will be otherwise it will mix with that or blend with that one so let me just make it more somewhat lighter you can see here somewhat lighter shade so it is clearly visible all right for this also i can make it somewhat lighter so it is clearly visible and for this i'm going to select maybe a red or light whatever color so you end up getting something like this for this also you can select the the gradient fill now for this i'm going to choose more darker red you can see here i can just go to more colors more darker red here also the same thing and here also i'm going to choose the same thing all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some shadow effect here go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape here something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and i'm going to send this to back then make it uh, transparent you can see here maybe 50 or 60 percent and then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size so you end up getting a shape something like this now for me it's easy i'm just going to add some text here i'm going to say 0 1 a b c d or whatever and i'm going to bring it here make it the font as white use some nice font maybe i'm going to use roboto or some nice fonts of your choice you can use it increase it make it bold all right just put it here and then you can go to insert text box add the detail text here so before adding the detail text what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select all this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm just going to add one more here you can see here or you can give some space also something like this and this one i'm just going to reduce the size you can see here a little bit then move it up then press ctrl d add one more here again reduce the size you can see here and then one more last i'm going to do it further reduce the size and move this up so you can see here gradually we have reduced the sizes so make this as two this is three and this is four then what you can do is you can just select each one and change the color as per your requirement so let me just show you one change of the color here i'm going to choose some dark and here i'm going to choose some light all right and here also i'm going to choose more lighter color here you can see here here also i'm going to choose the same color and i can make it more lighter also so depending on the requirement and this one i can just make it somewhat a uh, lighter color you can see here so that it's clearly visible so depending on your requirement just change the colors and then you can go to insert text box you can add the title here make it the font as white so that it is visible clearly center align then you can go to insert text box i'm just going to say equals lorem within brackets one and then just delete somewhat text here put it in the center white font reduce the font size you can see here if you want you can make it justify also so this way you can just add one by one so press ctrl d so you can see here just add one by one and then just properly align it and if you're using the latest version you can go to insert click the icons and you can download any uh, icons as per your requirement so you can see here randomly some icons i am adding here
let me just move this aside here and make the height and width as maybe 0 0.6 then I'm just going to add some random icons on the top of each title you can see here and then select all by holding the shift key and graphic fill you can choose white color all right and then you can add some simple animations to this if you want you can just ungroup it or you can just uh, make as one animation effect maybe you can go to the animations and you can use maybe fly in fly in i'm just going to say from top so it comes something like this you can see here and then it's easy i'm just going to select double click the animation painter and just do it apply it one on for each option you can see here and press escape key so if i play it comes something like this the only problem is i have forgot to add uh, or group this one so you can see here it is not group so that's the reason it is not uh, added in the animation or if you want you can add separately this as animation also.